Hello everyone, if you want to demonstrate annual report of the contributions of different departments to companies overall revenue and improvement, then creating a bar chart is the best option for you. It provides a visual representation of how companies revenue changes over time, allowing management to identify patterns, analyze trends and make far better strategies and financial planning. So this is Jihadrian Jim from Excel Demi and today we'll learn three methods on how to create a bar chart in Excel with multiple bars. Before going into the methods, let's talk about the data set a bit. Here we have the name of the months, company's cost, selling price and profit in that respective month in column B, C, D and E. For this tutorial, we'll be using Microsoft Excel 365. So without any further discussion, let's get started. In our first method, we'll be using insert chart feature to create a bar chart with multiple bars. Let's we'll select B4 to eat and cells. Go for insert tab. In the chart section, we'll go for insert column or bar chart. In the 3D bar, we'll select 3D clustered bar. And after creating the chart, we'll go for the chart title and set the chart title according to our wish. We have set cells analysis as our chart title in this case. If we want to get the chart axis, then we'll go for the chart element and go for axis titles. And now we have got two options. Now we'll set the axis title according to our wish. In the X axis, we'll set the cells and in the Y axis, we'll set the month names. So write down the month. After that, we can also go for the chart element again and remove the grid lines. So that's how we can easily create a bar chart with multiple bars by using the insert chart feature. We can also add variables in existing bar charts to create a bar chart with multiple bars. To do that, select the first two columns before to see 10 cells. Go for the insert tab in the chart section. Go for insert column or bar chart. Go for the 2D bar and select 2D stacked bar. After creating the chart, the right click on the chart and Go for the select data. In the select data source dialog box, you'll go for the add in the legend entries and you've got the edit series dialog box. Here, you'll go for the series name as profit in the D4 cell and series value will be the D5 to D10 cells. Click OK and you have got the perfect select data source. If you click OK, then you'll see that the chart have been changed according to your wish. If you want to mention which portion is representing what, then go for the chart elements and tick on the legends to show the proper marking here. After that, if you want to add the chart title, then tick on the chart title and write down the name according to your wish. In this case, I'll write down the name as the sales analysis. After creating the proper chart title, we can also add the access titles. Tick on them and set the name according to our wish. If you want to remove the grid lines also, then go for the chart elements again and untick the grid lines. Now you have got the perfect chart here. So that's how we can add variables in existing bar to create a chart with multiple bars. Now we'll use clustered bar chart to create a chart with multiple bars. We'll select B4 to D10 cells. Go for the insert tab in the chart section. Go for insert column or bar chart. Select 2D clustered bar and here you have got the perfect chart. Now if you want to change the chart title then select it and name it according to your wish. If you want to remove the grid lines then go for the chart elements and untick the grid line. So now you have got the perfect result. So that's how we can easily use clustered bar chart to create a bar chart with multiple bars. So that's it for today. You can follow these methods accordingly or you can download the practice workbook from the link below. Hope this will help you. If you have any questions, suggestions or feedback, please let us know in the comment section. Or you can have a glance at exceldemy.com. Thanks for watching our video. If you like this video, please consider subscribing for more content like this.